Boom. Well guys, we're here with a video on my camera gear that I use for filming fly fishing stuff. Pretty much all this stuff that I take fishing, I can bring along with me in my Pelican or in my F-stop backpack. I take either depending on where I'm going, whether I'm in a boat or whether I'm hiking, you know, it varies. But first piece of gear I really wanna show you guys is the Panasonic GH5. This thing is an absolute beast of a camera. This is what I use for pretty much everything. I like to run this camera in a cage. It has handles. I usually have another handle here or a top handle. I can put my mic on it. I can put my monitor on it and have everything mounted to this one camera body. Um, I bring three lenses with it that are native. The 14 to 140, which is on here right now. This lens is my do it all workhorse. If I were to have just one, this would be it. It's a get the shot lens. And that's really what it comes down to in fishing. It's like getting the shot. So running this camera with this lens, I can go wide, I can go tight. You know, I'm not just stuck. It's not a very fast lens, but it's one that works well in daylight. I also like to run the 25. These micro four thirds lenses are actually double in focal length on a full frame lens. So a 25, would actually be equivalent to a 50 millimeter lens on a full frame camera. So this is really more of the look of a 50, but it's a fast lens and I like to use this in low light. Uh, it's a really sharp lens, it's a 1.4. So good lens, I don't always bring it with me, I don't always need it, but it has its place in my kit, you know, it has its place. Other lens that I like to shoot with is the 12 to 35. I keep it in this little case here uh, to protect it so I can kind of throw it in whatever bag that I'm carrying along with me. Yeah, this is a killer lens. This is my wide lens. It's super stable. That's what I really like about this lens. It's got dual IS when I run it with the GH5. And one thing I always do is I always put my name on all my stuff. See the WP right there? Will Phelps. Oops, knocked over the rocket blower. You know, I have my Micro Four Thirds lenses, the stuff that I run on my GH5, but I also carry a stills camera, the one I'm filming on right now, the 6D Mark II. It's a full frame, doesn't take great video. The codecs are lacking, but it's a great B camera. So I like to run a lot of EF glass. This guy right here is the 70 to 200 Canon. This is the version one actually. And having that 2.8 long lens is so awesome in low light. I can't tell you enough, especially when I'm filming each shots and anything that requires high speed. Because when you're filming 180 frames a second, you're losing a lot of light. So being able to open up to actually 1.8 on the GH5 with the speed booster, which I'll get to next, is amazing. This is the Metabone speed booster. So I can run all my Canon glass on my GH5. It's a micro four thirds on this side, and then this side is the EF mount, and it's a speed booster, so you actually go down a stop. So a 2.8 lens would then be a 1.8. So you get a little extra light with this. This thing's awesome. Next is this bad boy right here, the Atmos Ninja 5. Incredible monitor. Not only because it's a larger screen, you can actually see what you're filming. It's got so many awesome features. I can make a whole video just on this piece of gear alone. I don't really leave home without this if I'm using my GH5. It shoots 4K 60 in 10-bit color space. So you can get a really good image out of this and it records right to this SSD card rather than into the camera. Next, we got the Mavic Mini. Not the best drone on the market, but this thing is pretty sweet. I really like this drone for its size, it's so small. This is my Mavic Mini, and this is my iPhone. Literally the same size. This drone doesn't get the best video or photo quality out there. You know, it's pretty, it's on the lower end of the scale. I'll put it that way. But it's easy to bring everywhere and I can take it with me and not use it and it doesn't end up being a burden on my adventure. But you know, for one or two shots in a video, this is great. You can get your establishing shot and that's it. You don't need a ton of drone footage. Next, we got the GoPro. Pretty self-explanatory here. Uh, I got my HDMI cord, this is for the Atmos. And we got the infamous Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. It's a shotgun mic, battery lasts forever, and the best part about it, I don't have to actually turn it on when it's plugged into the camera, and you turn on the camera, this turns on too. I've had times with the VideoMic Pro, the old video mic, hit record, you know, get this sick clip, and then I go back and there's no audio because I didn't turn on the mic. 
it sucks. I've dealt with it before and this mic totally solves that problem. So sick mic. These are all my filters. These go with me literally everywhere. We'll start with the GoPro filters. We got the Indies for the Mavic Mini. Boom, boom, boom. All the filters for the GH5. And right here, we got a normal polarizer. This is crucial when filming around water. It's great, I can see fish with it. Then these are all the filters that I throw on my EF glass. This is the Tiffin variable ND. See how it gets darker and lighter as you rotate it? You can control the amount of light going into your camera with this thing. And I have so many of these things. These are the adapters, so I can adapt them to different lenses. So these little adapter rings are super useful. So another piece of gear that goes with me is this guy right here, the mini tripod. It's made by Small Rig. It's a really sturdy tripod. It's not like those Gorilla Pods where the legs bend. These legs come out and it's made completely of metal. Super sturdy tripod. It can hold my GH5 all rigged up. You know, you could put a red on this thing. I'm telling you, kick ass tripod. So when your camera gets splashed and you're filming in Belize on the salt water, do you want to wipe the salt water off your camera with this? No. You want to wipe it off with this guy right here. The massive microfiber cloth. They're really easy to clean, throw it in the wash. You can even use different parts of it for different parts of your camera if you wanted to. Another piece of gear that I always bring with me is the card wallet. I can't tell you how many times I've left my card just sitting in my computer after downloading it and I end up in the field. You get the drone ready to fly, props are spinning, and then you see no card in camera. Happens way too often. So I always bring my card wallet with me with extra cards. Someone's always needing a card, so no card left behind. And last but not least, the multi-tool. I've used this to cut wire bite. I've used it to fix my camera. And this multi-tool comes in handy way more often than not. And a lot of time we're out on the water filming anglers and they don't have their own pliers. They turn to the camera guy for the pliers. So. You wanna be the camera guy with pliers, trust me. So this is basically it, this is the kit. I hope you guys liked the video. Please hit that subscribe button for more and let me know what else you wanna see. Thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.